Hi you guys, I go to film this video and then of course like Maine and starts banging on I think the room next door. They're doing construction in there. If you hear banging, that is what you're hearing. But I'm trying to figure out where the best like filming area is because I don't have my ring light. I don't have my box lights. I have to get a new ring light because my other one broke and my box lights, I gave those to my brother and I didn't feel like traveling with them. So I literally have no lights besides the lights in here but anyways i'm gonna try to film two videos so you'll see me in another sit down video wearing the same exact thing i'm not gonna try to pull you guys and change outfits it's just real life i film when i can when i feel good um i'm super tired today so this is going to be my update video but the last update that i did i think i was 21 weeks last update that i did i think i was 21 weeks but it was for i talked about my 20 week scan right now if i use the app that i've been using it's the pregnancy plus app i they have a free one and like a 99 cent one so right now i am 23 weeks and four days pregnant the baby looks like a full on baby so i was really nervous in my last video that i put up for you guys because they weren't able to see a good profile of the face um and they weren't able to see a couple other things that they weren't able to see in the full anatomy scan and i got two pictures two one or two pictures i think i got two in that ultrasound so i had to go back for my update like anatomy scan and they had to check to make sure everything looked good and i think they were looking for something on the brain that they were not able to see which makes sense since they weren't able to see like a good profile they weren't able to see like good i guess image of whatever they were looking for on the brain I was so nervous, like I thought I was gonna throw up. But everything looked great and I will show you guys the profile picture that I have. I put it up on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. I've been really good about commenting back on DMs. But I got two pictures, which is so weird because I remember with Paxton and Maverick, I got like a bunch of pictures. And I'm debating whether I wanna pay um, to do like the 3D ultrasound, the 3D, 4D ultrasound. I like a place because at this doctor's office you're not allowed to bring any kids at all so at my old doctor you could bring kids in like the last five minutes and this one you're not able to and i would really like at least for paxton to be able to go but i'm going to show you guys the profile picture another video that you guys will see this week I'm pretty sure it's going up this week it was supposed to go up last week but it is my apartment tour um so you guys will see that in I think this week's video might just be an extra video that I put up, but I have a bunch of sit down videos to film. I have an apartment tour video that I'm going to be filming probably today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. And then I have living in an apartment versus house and a bunch of other videos of how, why I moved to Charleston. That's what video I'm going to be filming next. So keep an eye out. But here is the pictures that I got. So I got a picture of the baby's hand. You can see the thumb, but you could see the four fingers. And this is the best profile picture we could get, which at first I was like freaked out, like why is the forehead so flat? But everything <laughs> is fine. But yeah, there's the profile picture. You can see it's little lips, nose, and oh, this almost looks like you, that's like its eye socket. Like it almost looks like you can see its eyelashes. Can you see? Yeah, so there's the baby's profile. So that's the baby's profile. That's the best they could do. Um, with Paxton, I think it was, mainly packs and i got like the best profile picture like of his whole little body and his little head but i think with maverick i wasn't able to get like the best profile pictures either um but i thought this one was really cute and i've been putting up on my fridge and paxton's like he wants to put this in his baby book so bad like he loves putting all the ultrasound pictures in there of him and maverick and stuff and anyways that's my air conditioning that just went on so don't mind that but i'm gonna share with you guys symptoms i've been having the last time I went to the doctors, which was two days ago, I was 121 pounds. I started out at 107.6. So far I've gained 13.4 pounds, which is good because I'm, at this point I'm supposed to be, supposed to gain 12 to 15 pounds. So I'm right on point of where I need to be, which is good. The baby is the size of an eggplant. It's supposed to be between one to 1.3 pounds. I don't know how much the baby weighs and I don't know how long the baby is either. But it's crazy to think that so soon I'm gonna be in my third trimester. I feel like I'm in my third trimester. Like I feel huge. I'm so tired. Like the first trimester, I'm super tired because I'm super sick. Um, this 
week I feel really sick if you guys watched my last vlog which if you didn't you should because it was literally comical Rob got his wisdom teeth out and I was like so sick it was ridiculous um and I it took me like two days to feel better once I got back on my medicine because I was out of it to feel like I felt function like I was able to function but I have just been so tired almost the same as like the first and third trimester where you get really tired I just have been so tired this pregnancy and I don't know why because this is the first pregnancy where I've been able to stay home during my pregnancy I don't know why I'm so tired but I am like it's painfully painfully tired so weird but the one thing I've noticed is I haven't been having bad sciatica like I had with especially Maverick with the boys I needed like propped up pillows and my pregnancy pillow with Maverick I haven't needed that I've been sleeping really good actually um it will start like feeling sore on my side because obviously you're like laying on your left side as much as you can my hip will start feeling a little bit sore but not too bad where I'm like super uncomfortable so that's different yeah my sciatica has not been bothering me yet I know I still have time but I've been getting Braxton Hicks like crazy I've been trying to stay hydrated and drinking a ton of water but I'm usually not that good at that so I need to drink even more because I have been getting Braxton Hicks almost to the point where almost where they're painful like some people will say Braxton Hicks aren't supposed to be painful I definitely have moments where I'm like catch my like I need to catch my breath because it's painful and then sometimes I'll feel like a sharp pain more towards my left side I don't know if it's because of my diet recti or because I have bicornate eaters I don't know why I'm feeling like this kind of like uncomfort painful feeling but I am and another thing I have not been experienced that I felt all the time with the boys was the vagina lightning really bad I felt that one time and that is it I have not felt it and I can't even remember how long and I got that all the time with the boys but another thing that is way worse than with the boys is my feet my feet have been killing me i need to get compression socks that's what my doctor recommended but my feet if i am on my feet too long they are killing me they feel like i'm walking on like pins and needles they hurt so bad like yesterday i wanted to cry because my feet were hurting me so bad so that's one thing that's been way worse this pregnancy yeah i've been struggling with feet pain a lot and i'm trying to like not be on my feet too much but when you have two other kids and i'm cleaning and doing stuff with them it's hard <laughs> to just like stay sitting down but i'm trying to think of other symptoms i my skin is starting to clear up a little bit i still i'm breaking out here and over here some days my skin will look great and then some days i'm like oh my gosh and my skin just feels my skin feels super dull and like just not that great um so yeah breaking out what other symptoms am i having i feel like really the main symptoms are my feet killing me and my fatigue i'm super tired but i think that's all i want to update you guys on nothing really much has changed i still love my doctor i made an appointment but i accidentally made it for a month out when i was supposed to make it for two weeks because considering the appointment that i just had this week wasn't like my monthly appointment it was just my follow-up anatomy scan so i need to call and fix that but everything besides those symptoms obviously i'm still sick once in a while and i'm hanging in there and i'm just super tired so if you guys are missing videos from me it's because i'm just trying to find energy to film and edit and i'm just i've just been so darn tired and instead of like being on a video complaining i'm just like all right i'll put one up when i like feel energized enough to do so but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video if you guys have any questions feel free to dm me over on my instagram the link will be down below and i'll see you guys next time bye guys